Hi there, and welcome to our unboxing of the all-new Sony Xperia Z5 Premium, the new 5.5-inch supersize flagship from Sony. Uh, taking a quick look at the box, here we are, Z5 Premium, and branded front and center on the front of the box is 4K. And Sony making a big play of this. Um, other phones have 4K recording in their cameras, however Sony are the first to say this is a truly 4K mobile device and the reason for that is not only can it do 4K recording, it can also do 4K output if you have an MHL3 adapter, so you can output to a 4K screen and itself, the screen itself on this phone is 4K, so that's all the bases covered, recording, outputting and displaying in 4K. And we flip over the back, we can see uh, there are three versions. There is a silver chrome version, a gold version, and a black. At present, Clove have only got access to the black. New orders from Clove will only be for the black. The silver and the chrome in the UK are exclusive uh, through the Sony store. So unfortunately, I can't unbox one of those for you today. We will be looking at the black model here. So if we just briefly take this out of the box. And we have the Z5 Premium itself. We'll put that to one side and just take a quick look at the box contents. Uh, there's our inner. We have the Sony screen protector, which they've been providing with most of the Z range for the last few years. Uh, so that's a nice little inclusion. And we have on the left, oops, tightly fitted into the box there, we have our charger. So UK model here, so the three pin charger. And this is the UCH20 fast charger. So using the Qualcomm fast charging technology. Same as you'll have found in the Z5 compact and the standard Z5 uh, as a basic micro USB to USB cable in there. I'm not gonna get that out of the box. We all know what one of those looks like. And some documentation in this box here. So a neat package quite sparse. Um, you get the screen protector, which is always a nice addition. Uh, no headphones included here, although with Clove Technologies' current offer, we are providing free SBH60 wireless headphones and a BSP10 speaker. Now, taking a quick look at the Z5 Premium, the design language is consistent with the Z5 and the Z5 Compact. In fact, I've got a standard size Z5 just here, so we can see it's a bit taller, Screen is a bit bigger, it's 5.5 on the premium, 5.2 on the standard one. Uh, looking at the thickness of the two devices, you can see that the Z5 Premium is ever so slightly thicker, but we're we're talking a, a shade of a shade of a millimetre or two there. Not much difference. You get that Xperia branding on uh, the bottom right here on both of them. You get the SIM tray and micro SD port on the top left on both of them. The Sony branding on the reverse. The new 23 megapixel camera module on the top left on both devices. So, I mean, if you put these two side by side, oh, here's your USB ports as well. If you put these two side by side, um, you can just about see the difference in there. There's actually not a huge amount. And in, in the hand, these two phones, the premium has a touch more weight to it, but they're both very, very balanced phones. They both feel, they don't feel top heavy like they're gonna fall out in any way. They don't feel bottom heavy. Very well balanced, very nice weight to both of them. Um, if you don't mind a 5.5 inch phone, it is getting quite large, but if you've got big enough hands to deal with it, then I would recommend going for the premium over the standard model just for that extra size, that extra resolution on the screen. It truly is the uh, top end phone out of the two. Uh, we just peel the protector off there. This phone has been set up quickly, so if we turn on, you can see the fingerprint unlocking on the right, so it's got the same elongated power button as the others, and I should just be able to hold, and there we go. See, I didn't have to push the button there. Uh, if I push to lock, again, if you just tap the fingerprint to the side, that doesn't undo it when the screen is locked, you have to just depress slightly, then it will do it. And of course, if you miss the fingerprint, you can buy you can bypass that with a pin lock or a password. And then we have the standard Xperia Home launcher. 
with all of the Sony mod cons included. Um, there's not much else to show really, aside if you've seen the Z5 Compact or the Z Standard Z5 unboxings. It's the same software, it's the same included applications. Um, the software across the range is extremely consistent and the hardware is extremely consistent. Oh look, there's a software update. So there we have it, that's the Xperia Z5 Premium.